that one <laughs> <laughs> maximum efforts maximum <laughs> effort uh welcome to the forest creek podcast today we're going to be reviewing the proposal uh, <laughs> 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 i'm just kidding we just got out of the deadpool wolverine movie Woo-hoo! i'm very excited Ow! oh my god it was phenomenal as usual <laughs> i am your host raf and I got my co-host. I'm Jared. And returning on the podcast. It's Jake. What's, What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming back. Yeah, All absolutely. Right. I had a blast last time, even though I had no idea what really that movie was about, but we're back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Monkey Man was a hard podcast. That was a hard one. <laughs> I went into that so blind. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was going to be something else entirely. No, not yeah. this one. We went in <laughs> and exactly it was, was exactly on. what we wanted it to be. <laughs> Oh my god! So uh, I got I got a little bit to open up on here. Um, open up. This is the third Deadpool movie. Speaking of, it, late titled Deadpool Wolverine. It released a couple what, day day ago. Yes, yeah, a couple days. Thursday. Like Thursday or something. We were watching yeah. it the day after it was released. Uh, we were intending to buy it for the premiere. I got online to buy the tickets months early, and it was bought out completely like yeah, the theaters were filled probably up like sold out in like 30 seconds or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so a little bit of a background third of the deadpool movies deadpool is a comics character who was brought in uh under marvel comics for the x-men titles he was originally an antagonist uh who came into the 90s comics x-men run um and over time has evolved into one of the most beloved comic book characters of all time why is that well he is known as the Merc with a Mouth, um, known for being very chatty and talkative and fourth wall break and obviously like, makes a lot of references to the audience often and stares back at the reader through the comic panel and then being generally very humorous, uh, referencing... What are you doing? <laughs> because just making Spider-Man hand gestures and he jumps... <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> being very humorous, being very relatable at times, making a lot of pop culture references, kind of breaking the wall, uh, not just the fourth wall, but, you know, in terms of relatability. He is not your typical superhero. In fact, he's been described as an anti-hero and, I guess, formally titled as a mercenary, being somebody who fights exclusively for money. But then, in a lot of his comic arcs, you get, like, the, uh, I'm starting out doing this as a job, as a mercenary, and then over time, I slowly kind of adapt to the good of it. Uh, I've read a lot of Deadpool comics, most of them since the 90s, uh, definitely a lot of the more common arcs up to Incursion. Uh, just real quick, Incursion is an event that happened in Marvel Comics around the 2015-16 kind of era, where basically the alternate universes of the Marvel multiverse collided in on each other as a, in a big, you know, cataclysmic event that they used to kind of reboot everything. So I wasn't caught up on what the comics did after that. There was like a little bit of a stretch, and obviously they're still printing comics, but the focus on everyone's mind, especially, you know, with the Avengers going on and... Well, you really have to have lived under a rock to not know who Iron Man is at this point. Um, And this is a very interesting entry into the cinematic universe because for a long time, while the rights to the Avengers, the Iron Man, the Hulk, Thor, uh, have remained with Disney after being purchased by them, uh, after Marvel was purchased by Disney, um, the X-Men were under 20th Century Fox films. And then Spider-Man, for the longest time, was under Sony Pictures. So it's only been over the course of literally decades that Disney has managed to acquire rights to the rest of these groups. And now they're all underneath the you know, Mickey Mouse kingdom. Because they're loaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this film represents Deadpool's entrance into that world. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> right? Finally do that. He's going he's gonna to save Marvel. He's gotta. <laughs> There's a lot that can be said about this movie even before having walked into the theater. Just the... I, like, literally, I was watching Formula One this weekend 
one of the car's liveries is now red with the yellow Wolverine scratches over top of the car to, <laughs> get, to promote this movie. Uh, Ryan Reynolds did make an appearance in F1 uh, in the Drive to Survive series, so I don't know if he actually formally sponsored a team, but he ha his style of marketing has become very prolific. I don't know if you guys have heard of the company Aviation Gin. Oh, instance. absolutely. Yeah. No, never. Not once. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like many other celebrities, uh, he started his own, or didn't start it, he bought into a liquor company and then promoted it using his personal brand. The profits shoot up tremendously and then he sells his portion of the company. Ryan Reynolds entered into the billionaire status because of his ability to do that, taking his personal brand and using it to promote something. Now, it's not saying that he's just, the intent is selling out. When it comes to Deadpool, it's a very much a passion project. The first time we saw Deadpool on the screen in a live action movie was X Men Origins. I don't know if you guys ever saw Horrible. that. Horrible. Awful. I heard Horrible. It was, bad. it was awful. They didn't even give him a mouth. Literally. They, oh, they really? literally sewed his mouth shut. Yes. <laughs> because he was like talking. I thought it was cool, like the sword thing when he's walking down and he's like flinging all the bullets Cuts away. A bullet in you're half. like, yeah, we're getting Deadpool. This is great. And then they sewed his mouth shut and you're like, yeah. why? Mark without a mouth. Mark, yeah. <laughs> like, literally destroyed the one thing that made him interesting. Exactly. Um, we saw a redux of it when I was in high school. The Deadpool movie came out after years of them teasing it, after years of them like, okay, we're going to bring the writers on. Ah, we're, we don't like the movie. Oh, we're going to throw it out. It's some. It's a very difficult thing to tell a boardroom like, hey, you know the superhero movies that everybody loves that you know people bring their kids to? We want to do one that's R-rated. <laughs> just like, we'll just have gore and murder and some nudity and people doing drugs and you know we're just gonna totally ruin a superhero movie in fact there's not really even a superhero movie there's not really a moral at the end of the story to yeah. be learned. <laughs> but it was a tremendous success despite that you know when they uh, debuted the trailers for the first movie at the comic cons and everything people went nuts because Ryan Reynolds has always been at the forefront of like you know if there was a character a live action um, an, an actor who would best represent this character it's always been Ryan Reynolds yeah. I don't know if it, well even in the comics they reference yeah. like Deadpool references Ryan Reynolds playing him yeah no right? way like, he has like I'm pretty sure he's like the same height as the comic Deadpool <laughs> yeah he's like all like the physical features about him match perfectly there is That's a quote awesome. from comic Deadpool going if I look like Ryan Reynolds under this mask shoot me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so when it comes to the marketing for Deadpool and Wolverine, it's been everywhere. Like, yeah. we even saw in the little uh, cinema, you know, the little video that they play to tell everybody to turn off their phones, they yeah. turned it into a sketch, right? And that was so good. It was so yeah. perfect. It just got you right before the movie, too. You're like, oh, here we go. This is what we're going to get, and we got it. <laughs> and the long-standing kind of, not feud, but like the fun rivalry between Ryan Reynolds mm -hmm. and Hugh Jackman, famous for playing Wolverine, of course. In the yeah, also a very perfect casting incredible yeah. incredible yeah. casting for you granted we did see uh henry cavill kind of yeah that was crazy <laughs> dude. i was like he turned around i was like wait a minute superman <laughs> <laughs> i think the craziest cameo which got both of us because I, I know i looked over all three of us like wait what we thought it was uh it was chris evans came on yeah and we all thought oh cap yeah and then you're like nope <laughs> uh human torch and he, we were all like no fucking way it was back. hilarious because he pulls back his hood and i was like am i supposed to know who this is and then i looked at him more and i was like Oh, I guess that that's yeah, right Captain America, I didn't right? Catch it. And then yeah. he faced the camera, and I was like, "Oh, it's wow. Cap." It's crazy. I think it was more the way he acted. Yeah, and then which he, is why it threw you off. Well, yeah. there's and also he, this, and shot. then he flamed on. Yeah. You're like, "Oh, now this makes yeah. sense." So here's here's a question: Like, was it the guy, or are they just actors that look similar? Oh no, that was, that's Chris, Chris Evans. Evans. Oh, that was him. So he's played like both he roles played, or something. He played Human okay. Torch in the original Fantastic Four. Yeah, I was Four, wondering. Which was great. I really like the originals. The remakes. We'll, we'll dig into all of this. Uh, yeah. I, I personally, I almost had a heart attack when I saw Blade on screen. I oh was, my like, god! So excited. <laughs> the cameos in this movie, incredible, were like insane yeah. like from costume to like everything it was, <laughs> well, it was also like perfect uh, when the army of deadpool the deadpool core came out oh, yeah. that was so good there are so many of those characters that you've seen in the comics and they're like they yeah. each have their own little like arcs the, like the novel skull series. one yeah, uh, head yeah. pool lady pool dog <laughs> the pool like... samurai's deadpool yeah. the western one the... <laughs> yep. so we'll get into all of that but uh to start off this movie is, again, it's the third in a trilogy. And if 
it was one of the, one of the things that people were kind of like worried about is like how do you keep substance in something this meme essentially it's mm-hmm. like uh it's not something that's you know you're i've brought up that idea before it's like is this a good film or is it just a good movie and it's important i think for it to be both in order to last if it's just a good meme a good movie you have a good time watching it that's all you really needed yeah, to you justify it a couple times and then mm, it like dies out yeah. maybe in a couple years later you're like oh i remember that movie. but do you it. remember it do you think about it afterwards do you think about what it means and to be honest i actually do think this movie carries some substance more so than the second film in my opinion uh the first oh, movie yeah. if, if to <laughs> recap basically uh, Wade Wilson is a former special forces guy whose life is starting to kind of look on the upturn because, you know, he's a kind of a mercenary, but he's not very, you know, high up there in terms of his work. He kind of just does, you know, back alley work. Yeah, and then falls he meets, in love. Falls yeah. in love. It's beautiful. And then horrible, horrible cancer in every part of his body gets him. Uh, and he gets offered a way out. In the comics, this is more specifically Weapon X, the same program that made Wolverine's bones metal. Uh, but they take him in and they stress test him, torture him basically until his mutant gene comes out. And his mutant gene completely deforms his skin. Yeah. Uh, TJ Miller has like a, a slurry, a flurry of like yeah. different... <laughs> like roasts. Like, yeah, like an roast avocado roast. had sex with an older avocado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like, look like a topographical map of the one I always or remember. something like that, right? He's like, like yeah. you look like the inside of an asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and also gives him, you know, super strength, super speed, super reflexes, and regenerative healing powers. The thing that Deadpool is most famous for, he can never die. Oh yeah, yeah. It's um, it, it's pretty wild. Some of the times that these guys have died in the comics, like Wolverine has also regenerative powers, regenerated from literally a drop of his own blood. Yeah, it's been wild. <laughs> comics are crazy. Yeah, comics are crazy. <laughs> I don't think they'll go to that extent in the movie because no. it's gonna be like, wait, what? <laughs> it's hard to think about. It's just yeah. thirty minutes of him but, like, growing. It gives you the backstory like you literally can't kill him. Like he's yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not like Wolverine with the it's the animantium or whatever, but it's like he yeah. can like actually just from the cells. Yeah, he can regen. <laughs> <laughs> he does go through some pretty grisly, uh, kind of gory situations where like you'll see his in the, in the movies like literally his hand. <laughs> Oh gets, yeah! Comes off. Oh yeah! And the, the first, baby hand. Yeah, the baby second, hand starts to grow back. Yeah, yeah so good. It starts from the very top. So that's the first movie is him getting revenge on the person who mutated him. Second movie is him kind of finding his arc to family again because his, his love of his life is murdered and he's trying to like make good on you know what he meant to her to try to tries to fix this kid try to fix yeah. this kid and it they throw a cable in there and one of the things i want to mention about deadpool is that like oftentimes having a clownish character alone is not enough enough yeah. it's not very again substantive right so deadpool works really well in duos and the, one of the duos that we've seen so far has been deadpool and cable uh cable being like a future super soldier who comes back in time and teams up with deadpool to fix mistakes in the past and peter and peter <laughs> yeah don't forget about peter <laughs> Can't forget about Peter. Uh, That's another, amazing in that suit. <laughs> in the comics, Deadpool and Spider Man is a really big deal. Mm. Um, I'm waiting for that to happen. That's like we got Wolverine and Deadpool. Yeah. Next, we need Deadpool and Spider Man. Oh my God! Can you imagine? <laughs> Do you imagine like Tom the P, like yeah, Spider-Man? like PG oh Spider Man makes R-rated Deadpool? You can't like, say that. <laughs> yeah, be like, oh, <laughs> I just want to see Peter Parker panic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some dirt in your eye. But, <laughs> One of the most prolific ones is certainly is Deadpool and Wolverine. Both of them, of course, being like kind of the alma mater from Weapon X projects. They're both super soldiers who were experimented on. They have similar comparable healing powers, and they often face similar enemies. And one of the things that also works is that, uh, well, they both murder. They both A lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always a good quality. <laughs> one of my favorite runs in the comics is uh, basically... Captain America, Deadpool, Wolverine team up to go to North Korea to put down the remnants of the Weapon X project. It's not where I thought that was going when Dang, you said North right? Korea. Right? I was like, wait, who are they? <laughs> huh? To put down? <laughs> who are they putting down? Weapon X. <laughs> <laughs> we had that lucky. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's kind of painted as this is the good, the bad, the ugly. The good is Captain America, a super soldier where everything went right. 
Wolverine would be the bad because he was a super soldier who went right but then turned on everybody and then Deadpool is Deadpool the, the ugly. He's, ugly. <laughs> he's, just, he's just him it didn't work out in the comics I, I was, this never comes out in the movies but in the comics he famously talks to himself a lot mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and you always see it it's like there's actually two speech bubbles for him one is in yellow <laughs> and then one is in white and they have different fonts inside of the speech bubbles Yeah, and he's always talking to himself non-stop uh, so it's fascinating to think about. I'm not sure how it would come that level of insanity. And he does delve into some like deep levels of insanity, including a courtship with literally death yeah. the whole way through. It's like he does spend, especially the 2008 run of comics, very suicidal the whole way through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very depressing. <laughs> this movie, a lot more lighthearted and campy. Um, Less suicidal. The Deadpool... M- lots of murder, though. Yeah. Lots. Homicidal. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In self-defense. Without going too much into the Loki backstory, uh, there is a timeline, you know, just as we have alternate universes mm-hmm. throughout the Marvel Universe, Marvel Multiverse. The TVA uh, show up. The TVA, the... I don't know what the acronym stands for. You guys remember? Uh, time Time Vortex. Variant... Um, authority? Yeah, 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 Time yeah, Variant Authority or something yeah. like that. And yeah. their job is to make sure that the timeline doesn't get disturbed by making sure that anything that branches off into an alternate universe is And if you've watched like moved. Loki, like yeah. all of the timelines up leading up to this movie are like really messed up. Like it's a whole thing and then I'm pretty sure Loki season the newest season of Loki, he like like they destroyed it or reset it or something like it, yeah, he it like he confusing. binds them together and then yeah. they change the TVA or now whatever. like Loki's like handling the timelines. Yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers. Oh, this whole pod spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just go ahead and let you know now. Spoiler alert. Dog pool, like dog half pool the movie. Is in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what, what this movie is really about is Deadpool trying to find significance. Mm-hmm. Um, it's difficult. They for, really hammer that one in. <laughs> is Deadpool difficult for? De- it's difficult for a character like Deadpool to find significance. Like I said, a clownish figure has a hard time standing on his own. One reference that I, I like to kind of go, go along with this point is, you watch Family Guy, yeah. Peter Griffin is often the main character of his stories, and it's often just crazy, wild nonsense. But every once in a while, you'll get a story where someone like Lois is the main character, and Peter is like the sidekick in that. And I actually find that Peter in that role shines. Mm-hmm. And you get a lot of fun out of the character without disturbing the substance of the story. Um, and I think that the same thing tends to be true. So you want a character like Deadpool to be in a duo to find something meaningful. I think that's where Deadpool and Wolverine shines. Yeah, and especially you get, they riff off each other like really good. Yeah. Like yeah. The, the chemistry with those two characters, not even just the actors, like the characters is just... Yeah. so good right? it helps the actors do oh awesome. absolutely <laughs> like, but like, yeah. writing helps the actors what insane <laughs> yeah um and they essentially deadpool ends up teaming up with wolverine because logan uh as seen from you know the film logan, logan. yeah i was about to say <laughs> from logan Logan, yeah. Oh, that's who he is. Yeah, oh, shut um, up. The whole time. <laughs> it, it was I thought very... I was watching Greatest Showman, and <laughs> this just went to the complete opposite direction. <laughs> well, if you saw Logan, it was like, that was very impactful because it was deliberately meant to be Hugh Jackman's last performance as Wolverine. Mm-hmm. And he plays like old man Logan, who's like losing his powers <laughs> and the world is passing him by. And it was his last final act of sacrifice. And people cried at the end of the movie when he died. And, you know, they put up the X grave and everything. And it was <laughs> monumental. It was supposed to be the end. Yeah. And even his contracts ended yeah. with Marvel. Like oh. everything with Hugh and Marvel, like that was like, they were like, Logan's your last movie, then you're done. And he like, I'm pretty sure he wanted to be out. And yeah. then Disney was like, yo, a check out dollars. all this Mickey Mouse money. And he was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do it's like uh, Ryan Reynolds is like walking around his house trying to come up with the ideas for the next Deadpool movie. And yeah. they are doing a sketch and then out of from his bedroom or whatever, yeah. Hugh Jackman just descends from yeah. the stairs. They'll lose their minds. When we got the teaser that they were doing it, it was yeah. everyone was like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting Blue what minds. we've always wanted. Because he died and then Deadpool 2 came out and everyone was like, no, 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 no. We want, we want more. So what's really interesting is like, they almost literally push the, the studio story in front of you to say that like you see Wade Wilson at Deadpool sitting in a chair talking to John Favreau's Happy Hogan, mm-hmm. who's uh, the sidekick to Iron Man or the driver oh, of the yeah. chauffeur. Yeah. yeah, the chauffeur <laughs> turned CEO of Stark Industries or whatever. Yeah. Um, and he's literally asking to be in the Avengers, uh, mm-hmm. which is 
hilarious. His his whole excuse is, I want to mean something. I yeah. want significance. And we see the Avengers as, like, of course, the flagship that carried the major movies through. Everybody wants that level of significance out of, you know, your superhero career. Yeah. Um, uh, when I think back to it, I think it's, I think Ryan Reynolds is going to be remembered for playing Deadpool to the degree that Christopher Reeves is for playing Superman, like, way back when. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. You don't think he'll be remembered for his role in the Green Lantern? I think he'll be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll be remembered. <laughs> People are gonna laugh about what, what, when they. I did mean, that. literally in the post credit scene of Deadpool Two, yeah. Deadpool Time yeah. travels back yeah. and kills Ryan Reynolds for <laughs> himself, Lantern. like in front of the script. Yeah, he's right? holding the script to Green Lanterns. <laughs> and then even in the first movie, they reference and he's they're dragging him on in the. So please in don't the make chair. the he's super like, suit like, green. And don't make the super suit green. Yeah. <laughs> or animated. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's what made it. I got everybody. I remember the first trailer for the Deadpool thing and they never actually showed you Deadpool in his suit they just showed Ryan Reynolds going through like his life people were like what is this what's going on we're all so excited Um, but so we came out of the theater I want uh, just to get like the thoughts what have you guys had bottled up since since walking out of that show what do you want to say about it just I don't even know there's (laughs) so much I like I loved it every second I think the one thing I noticed right out the gate was the color, like the little bit of a color, like the costume change a bit. Like his costume still looked the same, yeah. but it was like brighter red, which really made him pop a lot more, which I thought was super mm-hmm. cool. And then with the yellow coming out for Wolverine, like, yeah, it really made them like, here they are. Like, we were giving <laughs> you exactly what they want. And it also helps a lot in like fight scenes. I know it's like a thing that Jackie Chan does in a lot of his movies where he'll dress in a completely different color yeah. than the people he's fighting and you'll be able to like... You can keep the action scene in your head a lot better. Yeah, it like draws focus to the main. Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing. The fight scenes like... Oh, man. Phenomenal. Like when... And I feel like they filled that. Like we got like a Wolverine and Deadpool fight. We got which two. Is what, we got two. Like, we got like two all, or three. That's all. Like we <laughs> wanted. Like we want them to just go eight on each yeah. other, right? He looks because at the camera they both... just goes, "Get your special sock out, nerds." Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> like everyone's like a fight between two people who can die, who are like crazy, like that. Yeah. Who can't die? Sorry, is like you. The possibilities for a fight scene, like the choreo you could do, is in endless you could do so much and you yeah. thought oh we get the one all right cool they're friends now and then you get another one yeah like in the in the honda odyssey that was so- the <laughs> honda odyssey yeah and <laughs> oh, man. even like i thought as soon as i saw the first fight with them i was like oh this is the best fight scene in the movie and then i saw then they gave us the honda one and i was yeah. like this is phenomenal too like i can't pick <laughs> but then when wolverine puts on the mask on and the oh, last oh one. my Ooh, god yeah. <laughs> dude <laughs> That was insane. The one question I had is just like, has that been a hood the whole time? Because yeah. I have not seen it mm-hmm. sitting behind his you neck. S- yeah. Where yeah. did that come from? Right. <laughs> or even even Deadpool that. himself in the movie was like, <laughs> no way. Yeah, right. <laughs> like I thought that was really cool. Like the um, the movie, like everything, like Deadpool was reacting to everything that we were wanted to get yeah. out of Hugh. And the studio delivered that. Like everyone was like, we want Hugh in the, we want Wolverine in the original yeah. suit, like the yellow, right. the the um, the hair that we got, like we got I, everything. And then even Deadpool was sitting along with you, like and did it. Yeah. Look it, like we did everything you guys are asking. I think the best part about the suit is that they actually gave a reason for him to wear such a ridiculous yeah. costume. I like that, and too. it was really good. Mm-hmm. And even Deadpool's like, what is with that thing? It's yeah. so bad. <laughs> but it's so bad, thinking. but it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Very, very symbolic of, yeah. you know, Wolverine. But then, you know, I don't know if you guys ever saw those early 2000s X-Men movies. X, X2. I X3. remember seeing, like, one or two. Yeah. But... They uh, they had everybody wearing these black leather outfits. Yeah. Oh, and, and then the even, even Wolverine. Yeah, even yeah. Wolverine was wearing, like, the black one. They never yeah. gave him a yellow one. And I remember when those movies came out, we were all like, ah. Goes to show, like, <laughs> we didn't get the yellow, but, like, we still, he still, he still had the hair. He was still a really good Wolverine. Even I don't know if you guys suit. ever, like, there was The Wolverine, a movie where it took place entirely in Japan. Mm. Oh, Wolverine's yeah. Quest, and That's where it starts. X Men Origins off, like, Wolverine, um, they always have him in plain clothes, mm, right? He's just mm. dressed like a civilian, and then. Logan. Yeah, and then well, eventually the, the shirt comes up, off. That's the build up to Logan, because that's why. It was in that movie, like the Japan one, yeah. where you get the whole arc of him. He's going to start losing his powers from here on forward. Actually, um, was it? what it was, was at the end of that movie, you get Magneto and Charles Xavier showing up. And it's the build up to uh, X-Men Days of Future oh, Past. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah I forgot Which about that. I, it, at a certain point, they kind of semi-rebooted the X-Men. 
through Days of Future Past, where you have like the young Charles Xavier and Michael Fassbender's Magneto, and uh, they're running around with like the younger class of kids and first X Men First Class and all that. The Quicksilver um, in that movie too. He's a lot of fun. He was good. Yeah. They killed that one for sure. If I could save time in a bottle. Oh, that <laughs> slow mo <laughs> scene <laughs> slow-mo was scene. like all we wanted from a Quicksilver thing. We were like, yes. We didn't even know we wanted. It just blew I know. We didn't even know we wanted that, and we were like, this is exactly what we needed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you know that was 20th Century Fox running, <laughs> running the X Men, and now it is in the hands of Disney. I don't know what they plan to do. I don't know if their plans to be a Fantastic Four, but I got we got a lot of mileage out of Deadpool and Wolverine. I, I mean, the theater, Johnny's dead. The theater, well, they were planning to reboot it. They actually yeah, they, did reboot it. I think it they are rebooting really it. Yeah. You know the guy from... They have tried twice so far, yeah, by the, the way. <laughs> they're doing it again now. You know the guy from The Bear? Like, have you seen The Bear, like the TV show? I think so. Nope. It's like the cooking show. If you haven't, phenomenal. First thing that came to you mind was Cocaine Bear. No. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Phenomenal <I remember>. movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> if you guys saw a Doctor, the Doctor Strange something, Multiverse of Madness yeah. movie, um, nope. they had John Krasinski playing uh, oh, uh, Reed Richards. Yes. Uh, from the Fantastic Four. We got a Four. bunch of cool for cameos in that movie, It would have been really too. cool, honestly. But, he would have uh, been phenomenal, because yeah. that's what people were like... The thing about this movie and um, and that one, they everyone was like online. They're like, we want this person to play this character, and they yeah. were like, okay, here you go. Here's they a little. <laughs> they gave you a cameo of it. Like yeah. even in this one, we got spoiler. We got to see Gambit again. Yeah, yeah. That's and Channing I remember Tatum. everyone was like, Channing Tatum would be perfect for Gambit. He'd kill it. Like he looks like a Gambit. Right. And they gave us that, and I was just over the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Magic Mike is just throwing cards. That's insane. It all blew it my so mind good. with Wesley Snipes coming back as Blade. I oh. love the Blade movies. <laughs> the cameos in this movie were yeah. perfect. And not just like live action cameos, comic cameos yeah. too. Yeah. Like we got characters that we didn't really, um, like we haven't seen it forever. Like we got uh, Sabretooth. Electra. That was yeah, Electra. Way back we got then. even. We got Toad. We never even asked for Toad, but <laughs> we, we got we got Toad. that big tongue back on screen. That was so and weird. Pyro played a specifically yeah. big part. Pyro yeah. came back. I remember watching. I think it's the second X Men film. Yeah, where he's in that. I remember watching him as a kid and being like, the, the scene where he's like on the ground. He's like, or he's in the plane and he's flicking his thumb. He's like, and he's flicking his thumb. He's, he's a little it's lighter. Like a, his little lighter. lighter. Yeah. I thought that was such a cool. Yeah. thing I thought that was it's so like his powers he can manipulate fire but he always needs like a little flame yeah it was light. pretty cool yeah. and then we got him back which was crazy and then yeah. there's even other characters that kind of just they just showed they were there like who's that chick well, with the really really long nails it's interesting actually um oh the long nails the really really wait, long wait she wasn't in this she one. was in the two yeah she had like she, she was, was in, in like, this one yeah she was in the really old X-Men films right like, yeah. the really like the she yeah, was like barely in it but she had the really yeah, the really long because she'd fight Wolverine she was the female Wolverine um, yeah, and she she was in it too. If you notice when they're showing like all the bad guys and then like the good guys at the very end, yeah. you can see her standing well, there with all of her. It's interesting. Fingers. It's like she the one that had like a vague purple. Yeah, to her? I think, oh, yeah. I think it was had her. No in, lines in a similar. The no lines. Yeah, she had no lines at all. <laughs> I thought it was so funny when they revealed her because the whole time leading up to that, they'd been saying, "Oh, she." Her, she, she. We're looking for a she. And the first girl they show is some random chick sitting there with a bit of purple in her hair. I'm like, yeah. Is that? Is that her? Is that her? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, no, no. This is just, this is just for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I feel like it's not. <laughs> it, it's interesting. One of the things they do in this movie, and I feel like maybe it was a little bit inspired by uh, Spider-Man: No Way Home when they showed all of the uh, different actors who played Spider-Man coming in as if they were different multiverse Spider-Man mm-hmm. into the movie. In this, there was something similar. I don't know if you guys noticed Juggernaut, for instance. Oh, yeah. There's a Juggernaut in Deadpool 2, the movie. Yeah. And he mm. looks entirely different. The Juggernaut <laughs> they show you is the Juggernaut from the early 2000s movies. The good Juggernaut. Oh, the good that's I'm awesome. the Juggernaut. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one. They pulled a lot of, like, X-Men stuff yeah. for this one. Yeah. Like, we, even, we got, like, old... Um, like old X Men characters, and then we even got the one new one. Now we got um, what's her name? X twenty three. X twenty three. Basically, yeah. Laura. basically Laura. Lauren from Logan. Logan. Yeah. yeah, basically Logan's kid is how I like to think it, about it. It's the same that's, actress who played the little girl. It's like, the same, yeah, but yeah. she's older now, right? Whoa. So that's why it's like that Crazy. that time skip of her saying I got to grow up. That's Majority of this movie takes place in uh, a place that we were shown originally in the Loki series. Uh, they call it the Void. It's yeah. basically where you go when you get deleted from the timeline. You get sent out into this void area, and then some giant smoke monster called Goliath comes and like yeah. eats you. 
the vibe of that of the void is Mad Max. It's yeah, very literally. That like it's, that's exactly so what good. that was funny too. When um, I just wanted Toad to be playing an electric guitar <laughs> <laughs> with his tongue, right? With <laughs> like the Doof Warrior. <laughs> yeah. And then like I thought it was hilarious too how Deadpool referenced Mad Max and then yeah. Wolverine cut off Sabretooth's head and then held up the <laughs> I head. Have your I have queen. your precious precious queen Furiosa and like <laughs> <laughs> it was just he did the whole speech. It was, was so so good, so good. Just little things like that that they like a fourth wall breaks that Deadpool yeah. has. Like stuff I like that are just so funny and they're so, so the vibe we're given about the void is that this is the space where everyone who wasn't who didn't make the cut for the MCU ends up, <laughs> basically right? whether you're a discarded comic character or you're from a different franchise or you're a different mm. run or an old reboot or whatever you know uh, and was the was the big thing El- Eliath yeah, yeah big smoke because I love that first... was in um that was in Loki as well. Well, they first mentioned that, and he's like, "No, the villain from season one, episode five of Loki." Yeah, <laughs> he represented like to the T, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Which really makes you want. It's like I think this movie really packages a lot of things that we just wanted in general. It was a lot of fan service. This mm-hmm. whole movie, and I think that's exactly what we wanted out of a Wolverine and Deadpool thing. We wanted them together, and then we yeah. wanted. And then they even gave us more. They're like, here's more nostalgia for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is, I mean, it's a hard sell. If you were to sit me down and go like, okay, we're going to throw all these different things in from the TVA and the Lyoth and all these different things up. And like, guys, the story is not focused Yeah, on paper, there's too much. It's ridiculous. But I think they, they, the did, end, it, they did a they good did job giving you, well. like, feeding you all of it. Yeah. Like, well, like I was saying, like, my concern with this movie would be that it wasn't, like, very substantive. And I got yep. more substance than I expected, but the theater experience in general was good. Like, we were laughing the oh, whole way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You're having, like, this is like, if you want to just go to the movies and have a really good time, like, this movie That's gave... This movie. It's it this was movie. Per- it just It was exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to go in, have a really good time. I just, because, like, Deadpool 2's plot yeah. was... Well, I literally, it was mid. in the drive there, <laughs> Raph was telling me about it. He was like, yeah, and then they had Cable, and I was like, who's Cable again? Yeah, and he's like, you know, this guy, this guy describing him, like, I don't remember him at all. He's like, he was the main antagonist. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> Deadpool two, like Deadpool two, was a fun ride, but yeah. like you were like Deadpool one was way better. Yeah, and yeah. then we got this one, and you're like, okay, now it goes Deadpool. Like Deadpool one is really good, but I think I'd rank this one over Deadpool. Like, I would say mm-hmm. theater one. experience wise, definitely better. Yeah, if I was just looking at like from a writing a film perspective, I might still say Deadpool one was better because it was more focused. But the 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 sense of meaningfulness in the plot is like honestly, I think the third one might be more meaningful yeah. overall. It's like just the the way it dealt with the theme of significance. Mm-hmm. The one issue I had on that front is just how much they hammer it in for the first like twenty oh, yeah. minutes and constantly throw at the movie. I'm looking for meaning. I want to matter. I'm looking for something that would make me significant. Yeah, like, I do, and then I they get like it. transition. I understand. They transition to like now we're saving the world. Yeah. Well, but it's like they kind of it, maybe it's a fourth wall breaky, but and they kind of did that at the end. But they're like, oh, I will give you the thing that will make you matter. And yeah. I'm like, Come on, man. You're just like slapping me in the face with it. And then mm-hmm. at the very end, he made it funny. He was like, okay, now raise the stakes. He just <laughs> tells the guy to raise yeah. the stakes, and then he's like, that's you're the, gonna die. <laughs> I think that's the one thing I really liked about this Deadpool movie is. Like, we got all the fourth wall breaks mm-hmm. in the first and second one. Even the first one, we got a fourth wall break within a fourth wall break. <laughs> like, we got that scene. But, like, I feel like in this one, the amount of fourth wall breaks we got, not even him just talking to the camera, just him referencing so much yeah. outside stuff was yeah. awesome. Like, we got so much. And every single one, you caught it. And it was yeah. so funny. This Deadpool movie really makes you feel like you were in the writer's room. Oh, 100, yeah. yeah. The casual ones are my favorite because you've got mm-hmm. ones where he literally grabs the camera and breaks. The oh, glass that was so <laughs> funny! Or he's just dissing Fox. Yeah, yeah where he like, like he was like, "I'm going you. to Disneyland." <laughs> Fox and he's like punching and yeah. headbutting the camera. It's like, those ones are great, but then I love the ones where Wolverine says something about him shutting up, and he's like, "The audience will love that." <laughs> yeah, like, the, like, like those that ones did not work the first time. Those ones are my favorite. I loved because. In the first movie, they also started with that, oh, we got to rewind time to tell you about how I got here. Mm-hmm. Um, I think 
It's same thing. He does the same thing again in the second Deadpool. And movie. then in this one too. And this one too. I loved the opening scene of him fighting off the TVA with pieces of the adamantine skeleton. Yeah, literally. He's like, there's, there's however many bones in the human body, and yeah. then he says one more if like whatever. <laughs> if I'm watching, if whatever I'm Gossip watching Girl. Gossip Girl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he fights everybody with all the bones from Wolverine skeleton. <laughs> oh, my uh, from Logan skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that fight, the how like in between, it's just him fourth wall breaking that there's credits and he's just dan- doing the in sync dances. Yeah. Right? That was so good. <laughs> like in between like blood and murder and massacre, it's just him just like, like like shuffling like Justin Timberlake. <laughs> like it's crazy. It's interesting to like a lot of I think we mentioned it before on a previous podcast, but like a lot of the times the actors really don't like wearing these suits. There's a reason why like Robert Downey Jr. hates wearing the Iron Man. He's just like animated. I don't want to wear it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Even, you know, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman doesn't want to wear this Wolverine mask. That's why he has it on for the very end and then takes it off again. <laughs> mm-hmm. But you can tell Ryan Reynolds loves being in the Deadpool suit. Oh, I remember in the <laughs> when the first one or second one came out, he posted a picture of all the suits that he has. Like he has like because they had like multiple different yeah. Deadpool suits because there's so many, they're shooting so much, right? Mm-hmm. And it just makes you think like every all the costumes in this movie and in the second one and the first one except for the big yeah. metal guy obviously that's not real <laughs> but like <laughs> what? Um, CGI character yeah CG character yeah that's real guys <laughs> but like all the suits are real and he emphasized that in like a lot on his like Posts. I was like, There's I don't. I want to like wear an actual suit. I don't want to yeah. animate it. Even his mask is real. They just do the. Yeah. Obviously, they can't make the eyebrows move in the mask, so they CG that a little bit. But there's no. very little CGI to his suit. And There's stories about that. him trying to walk off the set with the suit to try to steal. Yeah, it. I heard about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. See ya. Great. I mean, if you go to any Comic Con specifically anything with like comics or marvel in general is like you will see a lot of people in a lot of deadpool suits mm-hmm. it's it's you know they spot each other and they start a little parading a well little the nice pro- thing oh, about yeah. having a deadpool suit um at a comic con is like it's not like there's one deadpool like there's different yeah. multiverses there's yeah. so many of them you right so like you can run hat. in to someone else and be like oh what what are you university for like you know what i mean like everybody yeah. can it's not like oh you copied my costume it's like oh you're a different yeah. variant of mine <laughs> unless yeah. you're just a basic deadpool they're like yo seriously bro <laughs> you look the exact same what are you doing going as the original you lame <laughs> Okay, so let's dig into some of the technical aspects of this. We talk a little bit about the story. Um, we talk a little about the jokes. Uh, Performances wise, aside from Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, who we both know like nailed the parts. Right? Absolutely, they, they were born to play those roles. Absolutely, yeah. Who sticks out to you? Like, in oh, terms of like characters? actually, Cassandra Nova. Yeah, she was incredible, and I she thought was good that too during the movie. Did she like? So who is she? She does. Just... Show, I'll explain. It. So she does show up in uh, the comics few times she okay. is basically charles xavier's twin sister mm-hmm. so just like charles xavier has incredible telepathy powers she similarly has very strong telepathy powers mixed in with telekinesis and stuff and those things tend to be interlinked like we see that a lot in phoenix Jean gray's character um but she's you know often a lot of the times these these are like mirror characters that are presented to be antagonists i didn't read much of her comics but in this film she is she was deemed from the start to be a variant by the TVA and then cast out into the void. And yeah. they describe her as the way that uh, mutants get described in the comics. Omega level mutants are the most powerful ones. They're the ones who can warp reality. So she's like, you released an omega level mutant from the void and into yeah. this reality. It's something that threatens the entire reality. Yeah. Um, aside from that, I. <laughs> I, I again I will come back to it. It's like I'm just psyched to have seen Wesley Snipes Blade. Oh yeah. <laughs> they that are, was perfect. Michael B. Jordan is on deck to reboot Blade, apparently, which is like that's why when you hear it's like there's only one blade and then Deadpool looks at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> like, See those those awesome. fourth wall breaks, they're subtle yeah. but they're yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was not expecting to ever see or hear anything from Elektra. Oh ever, yeah, because that that's, was that was just a, like I've, I don't think I've ever seen the Elektra movie, but I but, was like I know who she is, yeah. and I thought it was super cool to bring her back. Like that's a crazy nostalgic. Moment there is too. an Elektra in the Daredevil TV show, mm-hmm. um, in the Netflix one that like has been made quite popular. It's the main MCU one, but we're seeing the Elektra from way when back when Ben Affleck used to play Daredevil. Yeah, before, yeah, yeah, like original. 
So that's where the de- the original Daredevil song is like yeah. na, 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 na. you know that one <laughs> anybody else stick out to you guys the dog the dog dude so that dog is the Mary Poppins Mary Poppins the the original no, no. like the actual yeah the dog like in real life is I'm pretty sure it's uh, voted like the number one ugliest dog in Britain yeah. or something like that in the EU I think yeah in, like, in, like, in, yeah, like in UK or Europe. whatever like it's yeah yeah, yeah but, I, I think, thought that I was thought really it was cool. perfect because I had heard about you guys mentioned there was going to be dog pool I was like, that's going to be funny. They're going to have a cute, fluffy dog. And I was like, I love that they made it this ugly, disgusting dog. They picked dog. the ugliest yeah. dog in the world it's on perfect. purpose to yeah. match, like, Deadpool like having, exactly. like, his deformities. Like, that's why they <laughs> love each Honestly, other. Honestly, the longer I saw that dog, the more it started to grow on me. I was like, look yeah. at this happy little dog. I yeah. like this dog. <laughs> All I could think about was when it's Ryan, it's Deadpool, but he doesn't have his mask on, and the dog's tongue is just going yeah. up and around his mouth. I'm like, poor Ryan, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, like, remember, he's, this is their film in the shit, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So he's like, the tongue just going and he has to keep a straight face without making like a <laughs> like a throw up like yeah. oh gosh <laughs> dude nice pool was incredible oh my god that was funny <laughs> it cost we got to be like kind. we got fabio fabio deadpool <laughs> that was insane that was it's like if you amazing. looked at the way that his suit was done too it was like a shiny yeah it was red. shiny yeah, yeah. It, was it was like plastic <laughs> yeah he didn't even have a regen ability at the end that and we were like amazing. oh my god he was like Regen? <laughs> You're like, oh shit. I, I was a little disappointed we didn't actually get more out of Lady Deadpool. Cause I, I thought mm. I wanted her to take her mask off because I kept hearing rumors that it was going to be Taylor Swift or Blake Lively. <laughs> And I was like, if it's Taylor Swift, this movie's gonna make the most money yeah. ever. <laughs> Those Swifties, dude, they'll they yeah. can do anything. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if, she, as a brand, could she be associated with something like Deadpool? Well, if she was in the movie, do you know like the amount of people who would go like of Swifties who would go see this movie just for her would be insane. <laughs> be like the, that happened with the Super yeah. Bowl. Do you know like the attendance at the Super Bowl no because she was way. dating the quarterback right. was like the highest attendance for the Super Bowl ever That's or something incredible. stupid because of. The fucking Swifties. Yeah. It, it's, <laughs> her popularity is to the point where people are like worried she's gonna like do something political and just ruin the world. They wouldn't she's, even care. They, if over. she voted for president, yeah. she would win. No, no, she's gonna replace Kamala. <laughs> she would. She's the only Dude, one. that's like a next level call. It's just a bunch of white girls. She is like the only one who could possibly be Trump. To be honest, <laughs> at this point. Um, yeah, I don't like. So, from a technical aspect, Jared, you were saying that uh, you were you were noticing things about oh, the color. Well, the whole the whole time, I really wanted to pay attention to the color because I've been coloring and, pr- and training for it for a bit, and I'm. It's like I've got some level of skill, but I'm I'm not freaking mm-hmm. gonna be touching anything like Deadpool anytime soon. So, mm-hmm. like, what are these guys doing? And the matching was incredible for the most part. Um, but one thing I thought it was that suit. And you caught it at the beginning, which is interesting. Yeah, it's the like, color it's, brightness. It has to be, that suit has to be the same red every single cut, every single scene, depending on lighting. But it's like, that's got to be the exact same. Yeah, and, and I was thinking, I'm like, what if they, ha- I wonder if they know exactly on the vector scope where that red is. Mm-hmm. And if they've got like some sort of key that would select red and just, they just make it that red and that saturation level and make it perfect on every shot. Yeah, well, if you compare his red suit to the first two movies, it's a lot, like, it's brighter. Mm-hmm. It's a more poppy red compared yeah. to the other ones. And I feel like, because like, we're going to have, they, gave, they were giving us the very poppy yellow from the original comics for Wolverine. Yeah. They needed to, like, they yeah. match do that and make them both pop. Like, these yeah. are both the... I recall, like, that first movie, the first Deadpool movie is mostly gray, so that yeah. his red stands out more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That wouldn't be that wouldn't surprise me. This one, this one felt very like a lot brighter. Yeah, yeah. you know what I, I mean. I mean, I think they probably also toned down Wolverine's suit because in the cartoons, I mean, he's like maximum saturation. Oh yeah, popping everywhere. <laughs> but even like in this, his yellow was still really popping. Yeah, especially yeah. next to Deadpool, mm-hmm. like especially when he put the hood on. Yeah, at the, in that end scene versus the all the dead so souls like, that, that hit me hard I was like oh it's I know so he, like, put, he reached live. back and you're like what is he gonna grab and then you see the hood and the whole audience yeah, is like no way I was wondering way. what he was doing <laughs> just in that like in the in the scenes where you see him like out with the claws standing next to Deadpool yeah. and then, like something flashes yeah he's in like or, he's in like the po- the or famous Wolverine pose jumping out of the bus window and it looks <laughs> amazing that was like, awesome I was oh like that's gonna be God. so many people's wall 
wallpaper. Well, we got like so many of those like little yeah. pictures. Like yeah. we got it at the beginning. We got it in the middle. We yeah. got like three of them at the end of them just standing together doing the pose. Like, yeah. oh, they were really pushing. Like we're here. Here's Wolverine and Deadpool. You have it. Like, yeah. We're a lot of you like really it. comic panel moments. Mm-hmm. One exactly. thing interesting going back to the technical color bit in the interview scene. Um, I noticed on the close-up, and I'm wondering, I'd have to watch it again, but I noticed on the close-up, his suit jacket was a little bit colder than on the outsides. Mm-hmm. And I noticed that quite quite a few times. It was like their skin tones would change ever so slightly between cold and warm. Mm-hmm. And most of the time I noticed I was think I was kind of overthinking it. It was it was where lighting was at angles. But the most noticeable thing was during the conversation with uh, Cassandra, where it was the two of them talking to her before they put the helmet on her. Um, her wide shot is all shadow on her front with the light on the back of her head. Mm-hmm. But on the side angle, her face is fully lit up. Oh. Yeah, that was a fun one. I was like, you can, you can window that? <laughs> <laughs> How much time did you have for this? Some things are occurring to me if I go back to the writing of it for a moment. Is um, I, I feel like a lot of times the... Sometimes you see movies where the comedy and the jokes and the way they're constructed are very integral and like they can't be changed or modified, right? But other times it's like I feel like a lot of jokes in Deadpool, you could do a second version of the movie with entirely different jokes and not miss any of the plot. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's one kind of like benefit of it. I don't know if it, it works too Deadpool. It wouldn't work with any other kind of mm. hero. Mm-mm. I don't think you would want that. Which makes sense why they wouldn't put him in adventures. Yeah. Because the first thing I think is like he's gonna ruin any seriousness there is going on because he's all jokes. But all I feel the like time. that's such a big part of Deadpool. Like if you're gonna put Deadpool in a yeah. movie, you have to expect that to because that's his whole character. Exactly. Like, even yeah. in the comics, he'll pop in. Like I'm pretty sure I saw <laughs> something like a comic. I don't know if it's real or not, but I saw something where it's like the scene where um, in the first Avengers movie. Um, where it's like Cap, Iron Man, and um, Bruce Banner, and they have the Loki staff sitting, and they're all talking about what to do with it or whatever. And then I saw something where Deadpool comes in, goes to the microwave in the back, and just starts heating up a chipichanga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he like eats it and then walks out. That's the whole thing. That's <laughs> and I was like, like if you're going to throw Deadpool in, like it's those little cameos would be good. <laughs> There's and a... I'm hoping they'll start to do that now that yeah. he's in the MCU. Just... There was like a long running internet thing of like, we Marvel want Deadpool Jesus. in an Avengers movie and the whole, it'll be PG-13 still and the whole movie Deadpool is going to be excited to use the one F word they get. Yeah. And then Wolverine <laughs> will just turn to him and be like, will you shut the fuck up? Yeah, and like <laughs> use, the de- use the one word. <laughs> the other thing too, I've always thought about like, especially after Stan Lee's passing, yeah. Stan Lee passed away and then we got, we got some more Deadpool stuff. Yeah. All all I could think about was the only person because those Stan Lee cameos yeah. they're for a second but they're amazing um, they, I think the only way we could get those back is it's instead of the Stan Lee cameos we get Deadpool yeah. for those just those little snippets he just oh, pops in to Marvel movies cool. I think because that would be hilarious he was and in it like would, one trailer where it's like oh is that you Deadpool can it Stan Lee yeah <laughs> like yeah like just replacing because we, we don't get the Stan Lee cameos anymore. Yeah. we get like little references to it like I'm pretty sure in Spider-Man No Way Home He's swinging, and you can see like a mural on a wall of Stanley's mm-hmm. face, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Like, like hey, that's, he wrote me. Yeah, that's like the yeah. only things we're gonna get. But I think if we got Deadpool, just little quick snippets like they yeah. did with Stan Lee, just of Deadpool just being there, would I wanna, be hilarious. even not saying anything at all. No, like, just walk in a microwave walk past, or something. That's like literally, perfect. just there's a serious thing going on or whatever. People are talking, and he would just walk past in the background. That would be absolutely <laughs> That'd be cool. hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Just and to have everyone him, would like, be relaxing, like, like, or like uh, in Avengers: Age of Ultron when they're in that like bar party and everybody's hanging out. Just to have him in the back of like yeah. a cocktail. Would be just fun. have <laughs> him there, like chat with people. Like just throw him in, and then have him like yeah. turn like wink at the camera or something. Yeah. Like, I think those tiny little. Now that he's actually Granted, officially in the MCU, I think they could start to do that. That's a lot of money to pay Ryan Reynolds. Well, you don't have to. Oh yeah, well that's true. That's <laughs> he's in there for a second. Yeah, I also loved dead. speaking of like money for a cameo. Chris Evans, when they killed him off in this one, <laughs> Deadpool was like, he said something like, "We can't. The budget is already too high." You know, like, you know what I mean? You know what, yeah. Do you know what he's doing to the budget right now? Just put Chris Evans in this movie, and I thought that was such a good little fourth it, wall break there. You kind of forget there. after seeing him play Captain America how funny he actually is, Chris Evans. Oh yeah. It's like you gotta remember, he did an acting, he did a role in Scott Pilgrim. Did he? <laughs> oh, he Wait, did. Was he the vegan guy? No, 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 he was oh. the skateboarder the who. Made like the clones, <laughs> yeah. and he was so good. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's like, you forget how funny he actually is. That's hilarious. And he's like such a bro in that movie. It is so good. Yeah. Um, so I want to pivot back to, uh, in writing, Wolverine's story mm. is kind of interesting because where Deadpool's whole thing is I want to be significant, Wolverine's thing is I used to be significant and I messed it up. Mm-hmm. You went back in time to get Wolverine to replace him and save your universe and you ended up getting the worst Wolverine. Mm-hmm. There was a, a brief kind of montage of him going to different universes was, and looking oh, for different Oh, that was Wolverines. so funny seeing all the different variants of Wolverine. Cavalry. Cavalry. <laughs> yeah. Short Wolverine was Oh my Wolverine. god. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and Deadpool's was talking like a big, oh, he jumped on down you there. Stick oh, the you stick the landing there, little buddy. <laughs> Good <laughs> job. Yeah, short King. King. Yeah, you short <laughs> King. Short King. <laughs> oh, what do you call it? Like comic accurate? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god. It and was yet, so funny. You can funny. see it in like uh, X-Men 97 if you watch that old uh they rebooted it on disney plus it's the x-men cartoon they, oh yeah i've heard they that's pick it phenomenal. up from x-men 97 and they keep going and wolverine if you look at that he's always shorter than whoever he's talking to yeah because comic book he's yeah. tiny right he's like he's a short king he's a wolverine yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm always taken aback by like in people always change the way that suits look even spider-man like never looks the same in mm. from the comics deadpool's suit it's oh, very comic accurate. It's so from the get from the first one. Yeah. Like they killed they did Deadpool like perfectly out the yeah. gate. They were like because everyone was asking for it for so long, right? Ryan was really interested in doing it. Like the people wanted it. And then they really took their time to release that first one. Yeah. They were like, if we're gonna give you this role that everyone wants, like we need to make sure this we don't wanna like we don't wanna mess this up. Like so many other movies they've tried to boot up and it's just like crap. Overall, um, I would look at this movie and see, it, first off, phenomenal theater experience. We had a great time. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think, like, just the audience in general, everyone was laughing. and There are times I can, good. like, point to that, like, I was more taken aback or more gripped by a theater experience. But I genuinely just had a mm-hmm. good time with this movie. Well, there's nothing like watching Spider-Man No Way Home, that theater yeah. experience. When they all three of them come up, insane. But like this one, Bullet like, Train, Mad oh, Max Fury Road, yeah, tra- uh, John Wick train. Four. These, these, <laughs> I can point to like a few better theater experiences, mm-hmm. but I had a genuinely good time watching this movie. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's something that I'm gonna think about and remember for long periods of time. But like I, I enjoy it. I got my money's worth with this, and I think that's oh, absolutely. This, ultimately, that's what the most important thing is. I can't say this was high art. Uh, when I think about like if I was to sit down and write a Deadpool Wolverine movie. I feel like I would have done something entirely different. Oh, yeah. There's but a like, lot of potential for this story, but, you know. Well, there were so, so many different ways they could have gone about it, yeah. right? Like, it's the the duo you've wanted forever. The I bet you they struggled writing this, yeah. too. Like, the possibilities they could do were endless with those two, right? Like, yeah. Was, so they just kind of... But they did a really good job yeah, giving granted, us what we needed. I was more satisfied than I thought with this movie. Me too. I, yeah. I thought I would, like, walk out of it and feel like, oh, it's missing substance. It's lacking somewhere. Um, but I came out of it going, oh, I'm actually, I came out of it, I was telling Jared with a similar feeling to the way I walked out of Django Unchained, where I was like, yeah, I didn't know what the beats would be, but they hit all of them well, and I was mm-hmm. happy with it. Yeah. I went in going into it like, I'm going to like this movie no matter what. Yeah. Like, you're getting Deadpool and Wolverine, the way they've been writing, the, the way they've been um, writing Deadpool alone, like, they're going to make, it'll be a fun ride no matter what. So I was like, I'm going to go enjoy this movie whether the plot's good or yeah. ever, no matter what I'm going to have a good time and I came out like that was that exceeded my expectations a bit like I had a really good time like it was really really good what would you give this movie out of 10? personally maybe I don't want to give it a 10 because that's really high but maybe like a 9.5 like I really loved it I was laughing the whole time mm. the choreo wasn't like actually I would say it was awful. lacking in music I, yeah. I, like there was a couple good songs, but mm-hmm. like for the most part, I was like, it's just kind of in the way. It doesn't feel like it's impactful. Oh yeah, but like, it wasn't like DMX from the first movie. Oh yeah, the X gonna <laughs> give it to you. What? Yeah. Uh, Jared, no. what do you think? I don't know. It was probably six or seven. It's like it was you piece. Of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I mean, I'm not a superhero movie kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Like, Everything Everywhere All at Once is my favorite movie. Oh, yeah. that was a good movie, too. Yeah. And it's like, so this one, this was, may, maybe I'll, I'll stick with the seven, because it was really fun, really, really well done. 
And yeah, it was like, even though I was trying to pay attention to the color the whole time, I got lost in a lot of it. Mm-hmm. And it like took me out of that, even though I was actively trying to stay. Because you were just having fun. Yeah, you were having enjoying a grand the old movie. time. And yeah. I was like, ah, oh, they're doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> break laughing in the theater quite yeah. a few times. Oh, yeah. They got it's, it's a fun. That's It's. Deadpool is definitely one of the more. If you don't care for superhero movies, it's like you'll still oh, like. Oh, he's the perfect one. Yeah, yeah. yeah because it's can... like Avengers stuff is my fun boyfriend and interesting. said this was a superhero movie. <laughs> <laughs> that guy just turned that other guy into a kebab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh it's like gosh. it's it's so fun. It's awesome, and it's like there's there's a lot of good story elements to it. It's a little heavy-handed on the theme. Yeah, that's true. I'm like, I'm chill just out. happy it had a theme. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it did. It well, the did, nice which thing was really about. Good. Which I think you were going to say about, like, compared like, to MCU, like, if you will go watch any MCU movie, mm-hmm. there's so much background you have to know, or yeah, you're going to be confused yeah. the entire time. But Deadpool, you can watch any one of them, honestly, in any order, mm-hmm. and you would have a good time. Yeah. yeah you like, know what I mean? Like, they're thing, very, yeah. Because you mentioned there would be a lot of cameos, and I'd heard that the this morning as well from a buddy who watched it just yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I was like, am I going to know? Am I, is this good? My, I was wondering if it was going to be the same experience I had with Endgame. Which is where I was watching it, and half the movie, I was like, I don't know what's going on or who these yeah, people are. Because you have to have the build. Yeah, up for and those. even with the time skip, I didn't know who Black Widow was because she looked completely different, and yeah. I hadn't seen a movie in like three years. <laughs> <laughs> and so it wasn't until halfway through the movie I was like, Oh, that's Black Widow. Yeah, that's who she is. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, Yeah, all missing this element, missing that element. I don't know what's going on half the time. But yeah. this one, I knew what was going on the entire time. I. Did you I know knew, a lot of I the I knew cameras? who every character that mattered was. It's yeah. like, I had never seen a hint of Blade, but they mentioned the name Blade and then showed me a shot of him. So I was like, oh, that's Blade. You got to go back and watch those movies, man. They're yeah. amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, that, that's the other thing. Like, the very end. Also, Ryan Reynolds was in Blade. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was in the second Oh, yeah. Movies. He, yeah. yeah. Not as Deadpool, but yeah. like, yeah, was he was Blade in Runner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When it's fighting, when he's when Wolverine and Deadpool are fighting all the Deadpool variants. Oh, that was awesome! Like you could go back and rewatch that and catch different little yeah, things. Yeah, I like, feel like I'm gonna have. I'm to. gonna have to go yeah. watch because I was like, I'm watching Wolverine, and then Deadpool comes in the frame, and I'm like, okay, wait, what's Wolverine doing in the background? Like that shot of yeah. them fighting and the camera moving. That's the other thing I want to touch on is mm. the fighting choreo in this movie. They really took Very advantage. Perfect. Of them being regenerative. Yeah. And I <laughs> love that. Like Marvel. at the beginning when Deadpool like shoots all the bullets in them at the beginning. Yeah. And then we got the very famous of the bullets <laughs> falling out of Wolverine onto the ground. Actually, like, so I think so that's good. really good because like if you think about it, Marvel has always struggled with this problem of we're going to fight a thousand robots and destroy mm, buildings yeah. and have the Hulk jumping. It's way too much CGI. Cameras moving. Like it's just, yeah, it's a it's mess. Yeah, too much. Yeah. But they did, I thought they did a good job. They did a really they good did job. They did incredible. Yeah. One thing I was they kept it very human for. too. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm very big on like action movies, like for choreo fight scenes. Mm. Like I hate shaky cam fight scenes or when <laughs> it, or when it cuts every like split yeah. second, yeah. it's cutting to it's, a different angle of the fight. It's like, just keep, like if you've seen Extraction or John Wick, like those choreo fight scenes, yeah. keep it a lot one of shot, stay one wide talk. Frame. It's wide frame. It's simple. Like you it's can so see good. if you're gonna change the angle, mm-hmm. it follows like their movement or something, mm-hmm. so you can one, still follow along in the fight scene. One thing I was thinking while watching these, all the fight scenes where they were like large fight scenes, because I had a couple of them, mm-hmm. was is this. I was looking for what everybody was doing because all that comes to mind was one of the new Star Wars movies where it's the Snoke fight and there's just people doing nonsense in the background. Like just, <laughs> just swinging like in. Yeah. 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 And, it's just a whole... And I watched a video like on a guy like dancers. zooming in to the specific people like, what is this guy doing? Yeah. What's going on? This guy just flies away for no reason. <laughs> and so I was watching this like, movie. This. <laughs> yeah, he just leaves. <laughs> so watching this movie, I was looking for what is everybody doing? And everybody, everybody was do it whenever I saw anybody it made complete sense they were actually fighting they were reacting properly things cool things were happening it was interesting mm-hmm. yeah even random people on the side that are like oh there's a background actor who hasn't talked yet and there's one of the sidekicks mm-hmm. there's there's one of the cameos <laughs> yeah they did a really good job I think I'm um, in between movie. you guys in terms of like when I when I think about like a 10 is a movie that has done more than just hit all of its beats mm-hmm. A 9 is a movie that hit all its beats. I think I would give this an 8 or maybe an 8.5 because I think it had more potential than yeah. it didn't hit. Granted, again, I walked out of the movie very satisfied. I was really happy with it. Um, I couldn't have asked for more mm-hmm. for a Deadpool movie. I, but like you also could, but you don't know what. 
Like it's you don't like, know what you yeah. would want more. I know but... I want to see more of this. I just don't yeah. know what the heck they exactly. Do. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, definitely an eight point five. Here's a challenge question for you. Ooh, I hate challenges. <laughs> <laughs> Can you think of anybody else that you would have uh, Henry Cavill being a given to play either Wolverine or Deadpool? Oh, who else I would cast? Betty yeah. White. <laughs> I think she'd be got, phenomenal. You gotta have some gold. There's, there's a golden oldie Deadpool for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe as Deadpool. Daniel Rad- Ryan Gosling. I feel like could actually do really good for Deadpool. Lately, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, if you look at like old. Um, I totally thought you were making a joke, and I thought Ryan Reynolds. I was like, haha, funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, who did you say? Um, Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. His little side quest here his yeah. his movies lately have been really funny like yeah. his characters have been really funny and he's I think he's doing a really good job like when you see him be funny in a movie it's very it's kind of authentic yeah, yeah. so it's like it makes I think you don't expect it because he's such a good looking guy you're like wait that was actually funny <laughs> and he does such what? a good job of playing like dark depressing roles too mm-hmm. so it's like he'd bring a lot of like good gravity to the Deadpool role yeah what about Jason Statham as Wolverine oh my god Dude, that's actually. Really good. <laughs> it's just that you can't have a bald Wolverine. I don't know if yeah, that well, works. Look, yeah, it's all the time. Like they gave Dave they Deadpool it. in this one. Yeah. They'll just, they just give him a toupee. They gave, they they gave Ryan Reynolds a, a wig for nice pool. Jason Statham. Oh There's my no god, dude, we gotta that's go true. back to this Fabio Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal little the cameo we never even thought yeah. even oh thought god. of that we needed. It was it so perfect. To be kind. Yeah, because nothing to be kind. Yeah, yeah. I love. I can tap the fourth wall. Oh, what movie did he say? Oh, um, uh, <laughs> the, joke. the proposal. The proposal. Yeah, he just looks <laughs> over to the camera. He goes, "I can fourth wall break." Looks over to the right. The proposal. And then he like just looks all pretty with his Fabio hair, and then turns back, and everyone's just like, even they're like, "What was even I that?" Love like, that. Even, <laughs> like the best part was that it was Deadpool constantly having the audience's reactions to things. <laughs> like, yeah, was yeah. that it? Because <laughs> that's exactly Even his what I subtle, thought. like, there's yeah. a one or two moments in this one where he just looks at the camera, yeah. and you just know exactly what he's referencing. It is just so funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, Nolan North was the guy who voiced Deadpool in video games before. Nolan North mm-hmm. is the same guy who voices Nathan Drake and Desmond Miles from yes. Assassin's Creed. And, yeah. I, he's a really good voice actor, and it's like in the games before, he's kind of nailed the personality and the feel of Deadpool. It's just a shame that I don't think he's in like the physical shape to play Deadpool. He's a little bit on the older side too, but so is Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman's not looking young. Well, Hugh's going to be playing him until he's ninety. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's whole... <laughs> we heard that twice, so I'm like, are we? No way. <laughs> For real? Hey, man, that is this real? Money's pretty big. Old Wolverine again. <laughs> We Looking. get Logan part two. <laughs> <laughs> he comes, he like crawls out of the grave. So the Marvel Universe was kind of building towards their own incursion event because obviously they've been going on with the cinematic universe for a long time and the steam that the original Avengers movies gave them to do Disney Plus the and all Infinity these shows, Saga. it's starting to mm-hmm. wind down. So what they were doing is here's the options ahead of them to kind of like reignite everything was they were going to do their own incursion event and just start again from scratch that's what loki was leading to that's what ant-man and the wasp was leading to but then the uh i want to say jonathan majors was his name he was a guy who was playing he was at the end of the loki uh show he was the one who had got gotten them to the end of at the end of season one he's like i'm the guy who pruned all the timelines and created the tva and all that stuff oh the um He's like the villain, right? Yeah, this is not that important. Yeah. <laughs> but he was at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp as well. And his whole thing is that uh, he is the guy who starts the multiverse war that's going to ultimately lead to their version of the incursion. And then he got uh, arrested and convicted of a crime. Yeah. <laughs> version of the incursion. So what they're it's leaning... fine, the Disney money will get him out. <laughs> <laughs> what they're leaning towards now is a big Galactus battle. Galactus was like the world eater. It was a famous fantastic four villain yeah and now i think we've had references to that in the past marvel movies he showed but, up in a couple yeah. of them um the silver surfer for instance back in the 2000s was supposed to be the herald of galactus to restart all that mm. so that it looks like the bed though <laughs> <laughs> bring him back where's the silver surfer <laughs> what's been confirmed now is that they're actually going to bring back the old avengers to do two more movies um, so we're going to see chris hemsworth thor we're going to see What's his name? Robert the Downey Jr. We're gonna maybe there's a high possibility. What's his name? Who's that guy? <laughs> Are you kidding? Get the off the Iron pod. Man. Get off. The I just pod hope right they now. don't do Iron Heart because that was. Oh, I awful. heard about that and I'm What's like, don't Iron do Heart? that. It's just his. It's his kid. 
No, oh, not even. Not even. Oh no, they yeah. Just pick it's... some black girl with an afro. <laughs> Who's y'all? Jesus Christ! And they're like, you're gonna be the next Iron Man. And then her whole thing. I'm they, pretty they sure I heard a rumor her. that it was gonna be. Um... They featured her in Wakanda Forever, and it was awful. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it was just Shuri in the. Nobody liked her in the comics either, so it's like <laughs> difficult. Yeah. yeah, but I I do see like the Marvel Cinematic Universe is far from over. This money train is far from over. Oh, They're yeah. going to get everything they can, they can do so much. I'm pretty sure I saw something where they've already have an idea of what after the phase they're doing, the next phase is going to be an X-Men phase. Like, they're just going to do solo yeah. X-Men movies. Like, we're going to get Beast. We're going to get a Jean Grey movie. Like, we're going to get all that type of stuff. Like, just solo things. And I'm... Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see if, how it goes. If I was to sit you down and be like, do you want to watch 30 hours of content? No. <laughs> but if you bleed these things out over the course of a year and I catch one on TV. Yeah. And well, the other, like, well, they planned so far. Like, we wouldn't have gotten this Deadpool and Wolverine matchup without Loki or Ant-Man. Like, yeah. we wouldn't because the TVA played a big part and you can go back. And to be stuff. honest, it's like out of all of the movies, this one feels like one of the least planned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was all it's over like, the place. But it's like, like we in... just made this up in a day in the writing room. To be yeah. honest. Yeah. But overall, I mean, I'm not not looking forward to seeing the Avengers movies again. I wanted something hard hitting out of Marvel to come again because it's like we've just been getting these terrible TV shows. Yeah. And then Captain Marvel in a movie? What? <laughs> come on. <laughs> you know you're really scraping the bar. We got the a barrel. second Captain Marvel. We have two of those. When you got a. <laughs> oh, did you guys hear about the the spider web? One. Oh, Madam uh, Web or dude, something? Dude, I didn't even want to watch it. No. All I heard oh was God. like people went in they were like, what is this movie? <laughs> what? Hang on. Isn't Morbius a Marvel property? Morbius. Yeah. It's Morbius. That it's movie. Morbius Apparently time. that's really bad too. Like people thought that was going to be the yeah. one. That was the worst one. And then this uh, spider web. Madam Web came Madam Web came out, came oh out and God. it was awful yeah i kept seeing this little clip of an interview and it's like sydney sweeney and the other two girls and it's like who do you think would win in a spider-man fight andrew garfield toby toby mcguire and, and um tom holland or you three and they're like yeah us three we would totally win yeah right <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> it's like brie larson in every single one of the interviews when she's sitting she like the, oh, everybody man. else will be like joking around she'll be like actually <laughs> um, it's like, actually it's like, that's why nobody likes Captain Marvel <laughs> like, God. yeah um, but all in all if you find yourself with some free time and a movie ticket go catch Deadpool and Wolverine we had a fantastic time with it do it for Fabio Deadpool do it for Fabio <laughs> go for Fabio, Fabio Deadpool pool. Fabio Pool yeah and then maybe watch the proposal afterwards if you feel like it yeah <laughs> also a good movie alternatively you could check out more of the <laughs> stuff <laughs> we do uh, at the Forest Creek you can find us at the Forest Creek on Instagram youtube.com slash at the real Forest Creek we're on Spotify and a number of other podcasting platforms Apple coming soon maybe hopefully I don't know hopefully Whoa. that's what I have we wow. got okay. um, more oh, movie <laughs> podcasts coming up and drum roll a video podcast. Whoa. Don't advertise it yet. You, get to, you guys get to see how <laughs> Why, sexy It's already we been are, advertised but... by your dad. <laughs> so it, uh, but yeah, we are excited to be dropping more content, getting back in the podcast of game, trying to, try to go more regular with it. So, you know, tell, tell everybody, tell everybody, you know, everybody to, to check mom, out your, check grandma, grandma, boy. your sugar mama your baby daddy your kids your grandkids tell them all tell well, your neighbor tell your kids tell your husband <laughs> <laughs> at the forest creek uh thank you for listening i'm raf i'm jared oh my turn yeah i'm yeah. jake <laughs> <laughs> we both forgot <laughs> we did it guys maximum effort maximum yeah. effort minimal effort hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> bye